here's the thing. People think that they need to have a website, a landing page, a funnel, all these different things in order to sell something. That is BS, 100% BS. The people that are telling us that are the ones who are selling the funnels, the ones who are selling, creating the websites, mm. the ones who are doing all that stuff because they want us to believe that we need that in order to make money. But the truth okay. is that if you have something to sell and somebody wants to buy it, what do you need? to have a way to collect their money and that's it whether it's paypal whether it's stripe whether it's square whether it's venmo you know there's so many you can collect money by facebook nowadays just you can ask them to send you money via facebook so we have so many different ways to collect money from people there's no reason for us to not be able to sell something if somebody wants to buy now remember when we're doing sales we're not really selling to them they're buying from us. It's a completely different energy. It's not pushy. We're not selling anything. We're selling the whole time. And then they're saying, Oh, I'm ready to buy. Okay. So, so Denise, you have these beautiful, like right now, what you're currently working on are the candy canes. And what's the things you've already made some you don't know if there's a market out there yet, but I'm pretty sure because lots of people buy, you know, Christmas stuff and they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. If you have one handy right now, you should show it in the video that we're doing right now. So yeah, go get okay. one. Because I'm going to still me, talk oh, about this. Oh, cool. Okay, hold okay, on. So, get it off okay. the wall. <laughs> okay, she's going to go get one so she can show us in this. So she's, she's created these candy canes. She wants um, a, like a quick infusion of money. So ladies listening, I want you to hear this. If you want an injection, not infusion, she wants a quick injection of money, right? If you want a quick injection of money, think about something that you do, something of value that you have to offer, um, something that you create, like Denise is, she's very creative. So show one of the candy canes that you have there. Okay. So okay, she had so an I idea. Have, I have two. Okay. So this is the very, this is the first <laughs> one. I love it. Oh, and there's even jingle bells. And jingle bells, yeah. It's not if you can see it because I can't see it. Okay, now is this to hang on their, um, like at their house? Hang it on the, yeah, hang on the wall. Just okay. a little tag or, you know, those little, um, I don't know what they're called, but you can stick them to the wall and then they, you can pull them back off so that they don't mark the wall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, those I don't are get, cool. So you can I don't get that. how that works, but those are cool. I know, I don't either. And this one? Wow. It's the second one. So yeah, beautiful. The, the bow is a little bit different. It has a little uh, poinsettia in there that okay. matches the bow. And the bow has poinsettias on it, too. Oh, that's cool. So are that's they heavy? Cool. Are they very light? Or what? No, they're super light. They're not even, they're probably like half a pound, maybe, if, okay. if that. They're super light. Half a pound. And so they're about, what is that, a foot and a half tall or something? It is 19 inches tall. Okay. By, oh, gosh, I wrote it down the other day, too. By like exactly. about eight or nine inches wide. Okay. And so, yeah. so those are beautiful. So here's the thing. Denise is, was looking for a, I want a quick injection of cash, right? And so, right. so she had this idea. You know, I'm going to go, you know, do these things. I'm creative, and I like to make things for people and so I'm gonna go make some of these and sell them and so do you need a website no do you need a funnel no do, what do you need in order to bring the cash in you just need to be able to have a camera take some pictures of it do a short video of it you know these are different ways that you can introduce it to people and then people are like I'm interested in that you're like okay here pay <laughs> and then you need their address <laughs> <laughs> literally that's yeah. all you need how can they pay and how can i get it to them so if there's going to be a shipping cost make sure you know what that is denise you know because you don't yes. want to you don't want to charge a flat rate and then um if you could do something like you know buy four or more and get free shipping mm -hmm. right or buy two or more and get free shipping but i definitely wouldn't do free shipping on the first one and, and then you'll have to add the shipping onto that. And then always make sure that whatever your price point is, I want you to increase it. So if you're like, um, I'm gonna charge $15, I want you to increase it to 20 or 25. Because okay. we typically, as women, I don't know about men, but women on average undervalue what they have to offer. Because of that, you just need to think, okay, this is, ooh, this is the number I'm gonna ask. And a lot of times, 
as women, we feel a little bit uncomfortable even with that number, whatever it is. And I want you to up it from there every single time. Okay. This is how Amanda tripled her income in a year. It was because I pushed her to increase her number, always increasing her number and got her to triple her rate in one year. So do you think that changed her life? Yeah, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. A lot, yeah. A lot. So yeah, yeah. a lot. So here's <laughs> the the bottom line is when we're talking about sales, it's how can I collect their money? And remember, it's not about selling it to people because when we think about selling something to somebody, mm -hmm. it's more like um, I, I think this is the the reason why people feel like pushy salespeople is because mm -hmm. they're trying to convince me to buy what they have. Right. So if we flip it and we say, realizing that I'm always selling because when I'm talking about my program, I'm selling it without selling it to you. But then you're like, Ooh, I need that. And then you mm -hmm. say, I'm in, I want to buy that. It's different because I sold it just by talking about it. I sold right. it by okay. talking about the results that people are getting it. I sold it by, by just, you know, doing that. And then you're like, that's, that's for me. I need it. I want it. See, so that's the difference. I think a lot of times we get so hung up on the sales thing. But then remember, no matter if you have a coaching program or if you have, like maybe you sell phones or you sell purses or you sell journals, all you need is a way for them to buy. That is it. Mm -hmm. And right. a story. Okay. Now, so we're just letting them know what we have. Yep. That's all it okay. is. And they okay. are deciding if they want it or need it. We okay. buy based on wants or needs and guilt. I personally don't want anybody buying anything I have because they feel guilty. Right. Some people will say, oh, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that to support you. I don't want you to buy it to support me. I want you to buy it to support you. You know? Right. Like I'm, <laughs> right. yeah, I really, I don't want you to give me a hundred dollars to support me. Because I want you to give me a hundred dollars because you know that what I can do for you is going to change your life is going to transform your life. And so it's a completely different thing. So people buy, but they're based on their needs, their wants and their guilt. So when you show them what you have, they will decide, Ooh, I really like that. And then they'll do the next step. How much is it? Right? That's the right. next question. Usually how much is it? And then that's when you tell them the price. It's just, it's that simple. And then they say yes or no. If they say no, it's nothing against you. It's because mm -hmm. they don't, they don't have a need for it. Like it's not a need. It was more of a want. Now when we have wants versus needs, like, so when somebody has a need, like I need food, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to pay for food. Right. But, right. and I have a need for gas for my car so I can get travel places. I have a need to have a roof over my head. I have a need for clothing, but I don't have a need for an ornament. So that's all that goes under the want list. So now my want and my desire for that thing has to be strong enough that I'm willing to say, okay, I'm going to buy it, you know? So it's how, how strong is my want and desire for the product? It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with Denise. It doesn't have anything to do with the way it looks. It has to do with like, how strong is my want and desire? It has to do with the, the purchaser. And I was sharing that because I spent the first several years of my entrepreneurship scared to ask people to pay anything. But I realized that it was because of my relationship with money and my relationship with money was related to my relationship with my father. Mm. My father was very abusive. And every time he got done, you know, beating my mom, Let's all go out to dinner. Let's all go. Let's go buy some stuff. He would always, he would make up to us by buying us stuff. That was my dad's way of showing his love. Mm -hmm. So if I would ask, if I would invite somebody to purchase something I had and they said, no, I thought they didn't like me mm. because of my relationship with my dad with money. So right. now that that's fixed because I realized what that is. <laughs> things have changed. So my point on that is that when people say no, they're not like saying no to us and they're not necessarily saying no to themselves. They're saying, I don't need this. Right. Or I don't want this. And we just have to say, mm, that, that's fine. 
I'm so glad okay. you're not feeling guilty. Like, I'm so glad you're not buying this because you feel guilty, mm -hmm. you know, because then uh, it's there being, it's like a healthy purchase that they're making. So that's like yeah. the long of, that's the long of this whole thing, but I wanted to talk about this and just to share with everybody that you do not need a website. You do not need a funnel. You, your funnel, your funnel can be one step. The step is I show it to you and you say, yes, there's your funnel. Boom. You don't have to go through all of this. You don't have to. Go through all the layers. Of this yeah. Okay. Literally, that is a way for other people to make money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that looks overwhelming to me. For me, you know, it, all the different steps be. to get to the end. Like, it I, can just, be. I just want you to buy this. I don't want to, yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. jump through hoops. <laughs> and as long as you're, as long as you're able to show them what it is and mm -hmm. depending on what the item is, right. As long as you're able to show them what it is and show that it feels a want or need that they have. So, so in that, in this particular instance, we're talking about the candy canes. This is going to have to be a Christmas need because they are Christmas candy canes. And, um, so, so people are going to want that based on decorating. It's a very right. specific niche you know niche that that those will fill and so it's just a matter of finding those people who are looking for that kind of thing how do we do that we do that by sharing it by showing it so what i'm going to teach denise tonight and we won't be um sticking on this zoom here you should have been here for it just kidding um but we you know i'm <laughs> going to teach denise how to use tiktok if that's a product that you haven't yes yet dove into I highly recommend at least looking at it to see how you can use it for your business. So I'm going to show Denise tonight is we're going to, I'm going to show her how she can take pictures of her items, how she can put them up on TikTok. She can add music to them. And then she can put a description on there that te that shows people how to click a link to buy from her. And then she's going to be able to take that video. It's going to be just a short snippet video. They're like 15 seconds long. She's going to share it out to Facebook and hopefully people on Facebook we'll see it and we'll purchase. That's what the goal is here, is for her to sell her products. So hopefully this is valuable training for you guys. And Denise, do you have any questions before I end the recording that anybody might have had? Do I have any questions? I did. Oh, geez. Okay, so yeah, I think you answered it though, about putting the, the purchase link in the video. Oh. Or was yeah. I supposed to wait for them to, to contact me about how do I purchase and then I give it to them? So, or so here's what we're going to do. Okay, that's a great question. Different, um, different social media platforms are different. Facebook, never put a link in your description up top. And the reason for that is because Facebook is pushing all that stuff onto the bot underneath. They don't mm. want to show, they don't want to show people who are sharing links. They want mm -hmm. Facebook to be it's really, it's a community platform. They want to build communities. And so if people are trying to sell or trying to get people to opt in or trying to get people off of Facebook, they are not going to push your stuff out. So on Facebook, you don't want to put any links in the description. And my okay. understanding is LinkedIn also is the same. You know, don't put any links in the description. TikTok is different. It's a completely different platform. TikTok, put the link in your description. That's okay. Put as many hashtags as you want inside of your TikTok, you know, so you want to do that. But now when you share your TikTok video over to Facebook, your description will be changed because you can add um, TikTok. You can only have like, I think it's 156 characters. It's like Twitter. And so you can only have so many characters. But when you share it over to, you share your video from TikTok over to Facebook, now you can put as much of a description as you want and then so put, you know, in order to purchase one of the products, you know, uh, see the link in the comments below or, you know, see uh, the link in the comments or, or something like that. So that way they know to go to the comments to find the link. Okay. All Does that right, make cool. sense? So, so you said that you can put the link in the description on TikTok. Yeah. But then when you share it to Facebook, you change it before you share it to Facebook? Um, I have or, to check really quickly. That's a great question. But yeah. either way, you're going to be able to go back and edit it. So let me let me just do one really quick okay. here. Share it over there. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. That's cool if you can 
Yeah, because you can just it. go back into like Facebook. Share it and then edit it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Happy, happy. Um, you cannot edit the description. No. Okay. Yeah, when you're when you're sharing it from TikTok over to Facebook, you can't uh, create a description or edit the description. So you just share it over there, go to Facebook, and then edit it then. Oh, I'll try it because yeah. I'm not getting the visual. So in order to get the visual, I'll have to do it. Yeah, so yeah. Once, once I learn how to set it up and then I'll play around with it. Yeah, it's it's a fun platform. And uh, again, you know, anybody who hasn't used it yet, at least at least check it out and see if it's something for you. It's great for mm -hmm. creatives because um, you get to showcase your stuff. I did post a video over there, um, Natasha P Papusik. I think I said her last name right. I always mess up her last name. Uh, but <laughs> Natasha, you know, we did a painting party and I did, I took pictures along the way of the painting that I did. And I posted that paint, the painting, like I posted four different photos of the painting onto TikTok and it's gotten four, 604 views because they're short. They're like, literally that video is probably about six seconds long, but they're really mm. short snippets. And it's cool because people will binge watch on TikTok, it's crazy. But I've seen some people have over two billion views That's on some great. of their it's stuff. They're so short. Mm -hmm. That's why they'll sit and they'll just watch and watch and watch because the yeah. the snippets are so short. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So it's really just a matter of having um, using the right hashtags. I believe is the key to TikTok mm -hmm. because. If you're using the correct hashtags or the, the better hashtags, um, the ones that are being seen the most, then people will scroll through and just keep watching video after video in that, that hashtag. And they'll just keep watching the videos that are related to that one hashtag. So it's kind of interesting. Like, like today is Black Friday. You know, we're doing this on um, the day after Thanksgiving, 2019. And so it's Black Friday. And so everybody's using that hashtag Black Friday. I put a video up there. Um, I don't have... You know, like the number of views that I have aren't from aren't, aren't huge, but I'm getting views. Okay, whereas Facebook mm -hmm. takes a lot longer to get more views. Uh, LinkedIn definitely takes a lot longer to get more views. But with TikTok, I posted a video about three hours ago, and it's already got 180 views. So that's pretty fast. And I'm not, mm -hmm. um, I'm not a prolific uh, TikTok user. You know, poster. But the more consistent you are, the more that you post, of course, just like anything else, you'll get more traction. And then once people like one or two of your videos, what they'll do is they'll watch all of your videos. Mm, okay. okay. So that's what's cool. So if you can capture them with one video, then they'll scroll through and watch your other, you know, five second, mm -hmm. 10 second videos. Okay. Do you recommend using, uh, using your name or having a, a uh, what do you call it? Tag name or pseudo name or oh, well, I use my name, name because because my branding, you know. So on Facebook, I'm Linda Sunshine West. So on TikTok, I'm Linda Sunshine West because um, okay. I wanted to, for branding purposes, I wanted to be the same. And you know, Living Live Inc. was kind of boring. I could have done Women Action Takers, but it, it doesn't humanize it, you know. So mm -hmm. you definitely want to humanize it. And um, there are some people on there that have really weird names, but you know, mm -hmm. a lot of them are kids over there. So for me, it was about branding. And so what is your brand? What is your brand? So you just have to decide. You don't want to have one thing here and one thing there because then you're not branding yourself at all. You know? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sound good? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So I hope you guys got some really good tips out of this okay. little talk that we had here about sales and purchasing. So purchasing is different than selling to people. And um, again, remember, people buy because of their wants, their needs, or their guilt. And how do you want to have them purchase from you? I personally want them to buy because they want or need what I have. I don't want them to feel guilty. So that's, that's who I am, and that's why I'm always coming from that place. And, um, so, and just be you. Just be you. <laughs> Yay. Okay. See y'all. <laughs>